How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with another incredible R tutorial, this time on doing scatter plots in ggplot, which is the best way to plot anything in any programming language anywhere. <laughs> uh, the two libraries or packages that we're going to be using are the data sets library and the tidyverse library. We're going to use tidyverse because we're going to use a little bit of dplyr in here. You could just use uh, library ggplot2 if you just want to do the plots and you know, don't really care about any of the other stuff. Uh, so how we get our data is we're going to say data usa res uh, and that's going to create a promise over here to the right and it should pull up our usa res hopefully there you go something i personally like to do is to put it into a tibble which is a part of the dplyr package just makes it a lot cleaner a lot easier to work with so if we look at just uh, the usa res it comes up with everything it prints everything right and if you have a lot of columns and a lot of rows, it's a mess and it could crash your R uh, program. But if we make it into a tibble, so we'll say a tibble df usa res. All right, this is going to print out a lot cleaner down here. It also makes it a lot easier to uh, use in dplyr. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot assault and rape. And we're going to see if with increased assault levels, are we also going to see increase in rape and so what we're going to do is we're going to call ggplot and the first thing we want to put in here is our data set that we're uh, looking at uh, which is usa res and then we say aes and then this is where we put our x and our y variable in any color if we want to do that in there as well so we'll say x is equal to assault and y is equal to rape uh, you put a little plus which is going to pipe it to the next line and in the next line we're going to say what kind of a plot do we want and the plot that we want is a point and so this gives us a scatter plot and honestly that's all you need that'll give you a basic scatter plot there as long as you spell assault right that is <laughs> okay so there it is um, pretty basic you can rename these x and y variables give it a title so we'll do that here uh, so that's just labs and so our X label uh, we're gonna change this to assault per 1000 which these are like 236 I mean it's like everyone's getting assaulted so these probably aren't the right titles here um, and then we'll say rape per 1000 and we'll put a title in here and we'll just say it's a scatter plot for rape on assault All right so if you run that that's going to change your x-axis it's going to change your y-axis it's going to change your title uh, but let's say we wanted to add colors let's say there were two groups in here um, and we're actually going to make two groups uh, so that we can do that so let's say usa press and then we'll do a percent greater than percent. And so what this is doing, this is this is piping. This is how dplyr does their pipes. So we're taking the USA res uh, data set, and what we want to do is make a new variable. And when you want to make a new variable in dplyr, you do it by mutate. And so this is this is pretty slick here, honestly. Uh, if you like it, cool. If not, just kind of type it in. You don't really need to understand what it's doing. Um, but let's say we want to see uh, are there more assaults and rapes in higher urban populations or lower is there any correlation between those at all so we're going to make a new variable called high herb and we'll do an if else statement if you haven't seen these these are pretty slick you just put your condition in and then what happens if your conditions met what happens if it doesn't and so it's kind of like an if else you know kind of statement if you're doing any type of programming but it's all into one here <clears throat> Uh, so what we'll say is if our urban population is greater than the median of USA res dollar urban pop comma then what we're going to do is we're going to say it's a yes else we'll say it's a no right so if our urban population that we look at in our first variable here if this number is greater than the median then we're going to say yes it's high high urban I guess in in air quotes that you can't see 
Uh, so let's run this to make sure it works. Okay, so this first one uh, had an urban population of 58, which I guess is below the median. I don't know, I didn't look and calculate, but that should be below median, so it's a no, then a no, and a yes, and all the way down. Okay, so that gives us our new variable. And then what we can do in here is we can just say color is equal to that new variable that we made, uh, which is gonna be a yes or a no variable. And what this will do is it'll plot those in the two different colors. So um, if our high urban is yes, those are all these blue points, and the uh, low urban, I guess, would be no, which is these points. Uh, so it looks like there's not a ton of difference, but maybe a little bit more of the lower end has the lower urban and a little more of the higher end. Middle, there's not too much of a difference there. We could plot um, some lines through here, like some linear regression lines. And so the way to do that would be uh, do a geom smooth. And if you just do smooth, it's going to fit a curvy line to it. It's not going to be a linear regression. So you can see down here it says it's low S regression. And then all this gray stuff is the 95% confidence interval bands that come with it. Um, so maybe we don't want that. Maybe we want a linear regression. So what we would do is say method is equal to LM. So linear model. Okay, uh, maybe those 95% confidence lines are a little too messy. So we'll get rid of the SE bands. So we'll say SE is equal to false. And kaboom. There it is, a regression line fit to the two different data sets or the two different classes in the data, I suppose you could say. Um, if you just wanted a linear regression through the one without the colors, um, just get rid of this color here and it'll just do the one regression line through all the points. <clears throat> okay, I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to subscribe. I need to hit a thousand again so that I can make a few bucks on this. <laughs> So if you want the best art content on the planet, make sure to slap that subscribe button. Uh, like it if you found it helpful so other people can find this video as well. And if you have any ideas for videos that you want or questions that you have from this video, make sure to leave a comment. I get back to those pretty quickly. And thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Have a swell day.